stick around for a few minutes while we show you how quick and easy it is to create beautiful home decor with Chalk Couture. To begin, I've chosen a C-size transfer here, which is a 12 by 18 inch size and a corresponding 12 by 18 inch surface, the Odette Boutique board. I've got some other tools here that I'll explain as I use them. I'll start by cutting apart my transfer here along the marked cut lines with my transfer trimmer scissors. I'm going to set these pieces aside for another project, and I like to label the transfer backers I'm going to use with a permanent marker here, just to make matching things up when I'm done a lot quicker. Now I've got all my pieces, and I like to just lay them out to see how they might fit together and get an eye for the spacing on each element. I'll use this pantry piece first to anchor the rest of the project. My first step is to peel the adhesive silkscreen transfer off the backer, and press it down to the terry cloth side of my fuzzing cloth, which picks up a bit of lint and that sort of dulls the stick, especially on a brand new transfer, and it will help prevent stretch when I'm ready to pull it off. I'll get it positioned just right on the board and smooth it out so there aren't any bubbles or folds. I'll open my black velvet paste first, and using this multi-tool, it is so handy for stirring paste and for detail work, I'll just make sure it's all mixed and a very smooth consistency. You can always add water as needed. I'll load up my small squeegee and start to apply the paste over the screened area of the transfer. I'm putting it on pretty thick here, and now I'll take my four inch handled squeegee and spread the paste over this larger area. This big squeegee is a secret weapon. It makes such quick work of a big transfer. Once I've got the screened areas totally covered, I'll just scrape off the excess back into the jar and get this transfer peeled up. And that, my friends, is the best part, the peel. Now I can put this piece in the water for easy cleanup and move on to the next. I will prepare the next element the same way, fuzzing first, then positioning it above the pantry, and use my same small squeegee to apply the paste, smoothing it on and scraping off any extra, then get it peeled off as well. Oh, this looks so sharp, so nice. I'll prep the spoon, removing the backer, then press that shiny sticky side to the fuzzing cloth and get it positioned. And then since I will be using the same color for both, I will also get the fork in place and ready to chalk. I'm using this lovely ocean mist color for these, a cool grayish blue, and I'll stir it up first, then clean off my small squeegee. Now I'll just load it up and smooth paste over the fork scraping and offloading the excess, and then peel this element. Ooh, that is just so pretty. And the last one, just the same. Can you even believe how fast it is to customize your own home decor? Cleanup is also so quick. Let me show you how to take care of your transfer. I have a board eraser here, and not only does it clean up your surfaces, it also does a great job in taking the paste off the transfer. I'm just doing this in the water bath, but you could easily do it at the sink under running water. Now I'm drying this off with a paper towel, just swiping the water off, but you could also just let this air dry with the sticky side up. Now to reapply the backer, here's a pro tip. Lay the transfer down, sticky side up, and line up the backer on top, rather than fight putting the transfer on top of the backer, and then just smooth it out. Now I do want it to be nice and smooth, so I'll fix this little fold before storing it. Now I'll clean each piece the same way. Again, I'm just whisking off the standing water and drying this off, then lining up the corner of the backer over the transfer element and smoothing it on in one direction to make sure it's stuck and I can store these flat. With proper care, these transfers are reusable again and again. And there you have it. Cleanup is just that easy. Start to finish, each step of the process is so quick but looks so fabulous and so high-end with Chalk Couture. DIY has never looked this good. Happy chalking!